Each year, more than 1 million tons of agricultural waste is generated from farming in Ghana. Innovators in the agricultural ecosystem are working to provide a viable alternative to the traditional methods of waste disposal. Nanaya Ayabia works at Farmer Wealth, a company that processes coconut waste into cocoa peat. Cocoa peat is a 100% organic growing medium, which can be used alone to plant or mixed with soil. Like it has zero everything, and then you introduce, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll give it 10% nitrogen, because this plant requires nitrogen. I'll give it 10% ammonia, I'll give it 10% urea, I'll give it, so you're able to introduce the exact amount of nutrient that you require and therefore you're able to control the growth of your plants. So scientific production of your, of your plants or the farm that you are doing. So you put in 100 seeds, automatically you get 100 seedlings. Unlike the soil that we don't know where it was picked from, whether it was picked from uh, a place where med, um, chemicals from the pharmaceutical industry were dumped at and therefore the soil is already contaminated and then you go and harvest that soil and bring it to your home and put you put no matter what you put in there it will not germinate and you'll be wondering why uh -huh. and then also because it originates above ground and has gone through processing it is free of soil diseases that is one thing that also affects farmers you you have nematodes affecting your plants uh, other soil diseases affecting your plant, but this one is it originates above ground, so there are no soil diseases, and therefore you are spared that one. Because this one also contains fiber, it holds water. When you water, the, uh, the fiber will absorb the water and will be releasing to your plant gradually, so you don't need to water often. Unlike uh, the soil, sometimes a bit of it is sandy. When you water, it goes through so you need to water every day. Maybe it is clay soil, and so it is holding too much water at a point in time. This one, the, the, the fiber acts like a sponge. Uh -huh. It will hold, it will absorb the water and release the water gradually. So you don't need to water frequently. Agrosourcing promotes upcycling of food waste by creating value from agricultural byproducts and waste that would have ordinarily gone to pollute the environment. Richmond Zisu is the CEO of agrosourcing. The idea of agrosourcing is to add value to agricultural residues. We've identified that there are various uses of agricultural residues, be it cocoa pods, palm kernel shells, coconut husk. They have endless possibilities for value addition. So that is where our focus is. And how we want to do that is, first of all, to map out Ghana on where you can find these residues because you identify that there are players in the field or in the ecosystem who are already adding value to these residues. So with our source map, we can now identify where to find these residues and add value to them. The agro-sourcing team believes that data collection is a crucial part of ending food waste through upcycling. Isaac Asiedu is the CTO of agro-sourcing. At agro-sourcing, we believe that the prime asset is actually data. And all our efforts at curtailing agricultural waste is hinged on data, making sure that we know exactly where productions are taking place, making sure that we know exactly where generation of various agricultural wastes are occurring. And by that aggregation of data, people who need whatever can just plug into our platform and make records.